Hey friends, it's Jessie. I wanted to share with you guys what I'm currently wearing, loving, obsessing over, over spraying right now. So let's get to it. We're about to get into my current favorite fragrances, the ones that I am wearing the heck out of. I want to share with you guys the fragrances that I can't stop spraying. Pia Lang and Gold. This is gorgeous. I have wanted this for a long time. I finally got it. Bit the bullet. I've done a single fragrance review on this. It is a beautiful fragrance. The only reason this did not come in my number one spot is because sometimes I don't wear this because it does have little gold flecks in it. So you can't like put your clothes on and then spray because you might get gold on your clothes. So I love this fragrance. I really do. I just wish it didn't have the gold in it. The gold shimmer is beautiful. It is really beautiful, but I just don't reach for this if I'm already dressed and thinking, oh, what am I going to wear as far as my fragrance goes? So this is Ylang and Gold by Martine Mikalev. Oh, just a beautiful fragrance. She's an artist. All her bottles are like artistry. Anyway, I'll link the review in the description below. This is Atomic Rose by Initio. Guys, this is beautiful. It's different. Like, it's really strange to me that I can have all these roses. This is peppery in the opening. Like, I can have all these rose fragrances and I could probably make a whole, like, fragrance wardrobe out of this. Like, this one, I mean, this one's really all the time. You could wear this anywhere, but it would really stand out on a date night. Um, Atomic Rose by Initio is gorgeous and a very, it's a different rose. I won't say it's a very different rose, but it is a different rose fragrance. This is a very useful take on rose. It is just beautiful. Atomic Rose by Initio. <sighs> the cupcake. The Mickey Mouse cupcake, you guys. So cute. Okay, this is my fragrance of the day. I just decided like so, so, so good. So good. This is worth every penny. I'm so glad I got this. A full review, yes. This is everything and it looks so cute. Um, whether you like Mickey or Disney or any of that, this is just precious and I'm so glad that I picked it up. I am loving it. So this is the Disney House of Siage. No, yeah, House of Siage. This is House of Siage x disney with disney plus disney disney plus anyway um fabulous fragrance fabulous packaging as always from house of siage i am loving this this is roses mask by montal it has a little clingy thing um i just did a single fragrance review on this and you guys it's beautiful it's a beautiful rose fragrance i love this one i'm loving wearing it i have a feeling that to need another bottle um and someone commented in one of my videos that they have the intense version of this which now i'm like oh, well i need to smell that too um but roses musk by montal just a beautiful true jammy rose fragrance this is bubble bath by replica so good you guys okay so you have to respray this one oh it doesn't smell, I mean, this is a unisex fragrance, but this gives me, I don't know how I would feel if I smelled this on a man. I mean, it is fresh and clean and soapy, but it's so pretty. And I love the light blue color. I don't know if you can tell on the bottle, the, the juice is light blue and it's just so, so, so good. I am working my way through this bottle very quickly. I need them to make like a fear version, like bubble bath extreme. <laughs> or something like that but oh, it's so good it's so good it's such an easy reach if i'm going somewhere and i'm going to be outside or it's super hot this is just such a subtle fresh clean fragrance it's such an easy reach for the high heat of summer valentino's um donna born in roma yellow dream you guys i'm having a moment with this fragrance it is everything okay like i said one of these i feel like the cap comes off and one of them doesn't this is lemon rose and musk and it's just the cleanest most easy dumb reach fragrance ever it's beautiful 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 
Um, I did a full review on this and I also did a battle between Donna Born in Roma Yellow Dream and the original Donna Born in Roma. So I will link that below in the description box for you guys to check out and see which one you like. I did spend my money on both of them, but whenever I battled it out, I did definitely prefer one over the other um, at that time. So anyway, but this is Yellow Dream by Valentino. This is my number one favorite current rose fragrance. It's just to die for. like. I don't even know. I don't even know. When I got it, I thought, I really like it. I mean, and then the more I wore it, the more I was like, this is beautiful. It's stunning. I mean, this is almost like niche quality. I wish that the longevity was more and that the projection, there was more projection, but overall, it's a beautiful fragrance. And the number one fragrance that I am obsessing over right now is BDK's Gris Charnel for a very unisex, out of the box fragrance, this does it for me. This is gorgeous. This is not a safe blind buy. I would say the majority of the fragrances on my list are not a safe blind buy, especially for a woman, because they do lean more unisex. Like they're not, these aren't floral, fresh, fruity fragrances. I'm trying to wear my heavy hitters during the winter when it's colder, so that I guess spring, summer, I'll wear my lighter more floral feminine fragrances but right now when it's colder chillier yeah i'm still with the heavy hitters Ooh, and i might keep using them into the spring because i like them so much so this is bdk's gris charnel drop me a comment below let me know what you're currently obsessing over is there something that you are really trying to wear because of the season like i am kind of wearing some of these because i won't know that i won't wear them as much if at all in the summer um what would your current favorites look like let me know Thank you so much for watching. These are my current favorites. I love to share fragrance with you guys, but more than anything, I want to be real and authentic and honest about what am I really loving? Do I really like a fragrance? Do I really not like a fragrance? I always want to give you guys my honest feedback. And so I couldn't not share with you guys the favorite fragrances that I'm currently wearing, currently obsessing over, currently spraying. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also click the little notification bell to be notified of all future videos and reviews. Smell you later.